Hi, everyone. Welcome to this lightning talk on classic solutions. My name is Nata Tavon Manchai, and I am an analyst at Southpaw. Southpaw is a sustainable solutions consultancy and carbon asset manager, providing guidance for companies to meet their climate change ambitions. Southpaw sees plastic pollution as an urgent challenge to address in the transition towards a circular economy. Plastics are not only a huge environmental problem, but will also use up to 15% of our global carbon budget by 2050. New incentives are needed across the value chain to meet the scale and pace of the plastic challenge and to accelerate meaningful action worldwide. In this talk, we will focus on the role of beyond value chain investments, specifically plastic credits, as a tool to complement a company's best efforts to reduce, recover, and recycle plastic within their own value chain. From this talk, I hope you will gain a better understanding of what plastic credits are, how they work, and how they can be used most credibly. So what is a plastic credit? Like carbon credits and enable the financing of additional plastic collection and recycling projects subject to third party certification. In a nutshell, plastic, a plastic credit is a specific amount, one metric ton of plastic waste removed from the environment or recycled. The concept is being developed by the 3R initiative, a consortium of environmental NGOs, multinationals, and technical partners such as South Pole, and led by BD Rio and Vera a standard setting organization in the global environmental market. This has led to the Plastic Waste Reduction Program managed by Vera. Under this initiative, there are currently two types of credits, waste collection credits and recycling credits. From the combined expertise of its members, the 3R initiative can provide strong strategic leadership and industry insights, expert advice, and implementation support for plastic waste reduction. So, how do plastic credits work? Plastic credits can be generated by plastic waste collection and or recycling projects. Each plastic credit undergoes an external verification and validation process by a third party entity to ensure plastic claims are accurate and have the most positive community impact, as projects must follow certain environmental and social safeguards before being certified under the Plastic Waste Reduction Program. A plastic credit mechanism enables a transaction between collection and or recycling projects, generating the credits that are then transferred to the credit buyers. For local communities, the plastic crediting mechanism can incentivize the sustained uptake of plastic collection and recycling by adding real value to plastic waste. So after all this, how can plastic credits be used credibly? Third-party certification and the following a clear mitigation hierarchy are essential elements for credible claims to drive plastic waste reduction. The 3R initiative guidelines for leadership in corporate plastic accounting are being developed to define best practices for corporate plastic stewardship, including guidance on plastic leadership claims using plastic credits. This plastic waste reduction credit mechanism will be launched in January 2021. Through these guidelines, the 3R initiative also ensures transparency in corporate accounting and disclosure, verified project impact, and community benefit. As the highest priority, plastic usage should be reduced. Where plastic use is unavoidable, the use of recycled content should be increased, as well as action taken to increase collection and recycling within their own value chains. Plastic credits can be used as a tool to complement a company's best efforts within their own value chain with the idea that over time, efforts to increase plastic circularity and manage plastic waste should be directly implemented by companies. Through sustained and collaborative action across all sectors, we can work together to do better, aim higher and act faster to reduce plastic waste throughout the value chain. While plastic credits are a useful tool for addressing unavoidable plastic leakage in supply chains, plastic credits must be used in conjunction with other reduction efforts in order to be effective. If you would like to know any more about this topic, you can join our side event on environmental, economic, and social impact in economically developing countries on Wednesday, the 25th of November at 4 p.m. ICT. 
and also our other sessions and talks on ensuring business models and incentives for plastic neutrality and plastic footprinting. Aside from the CF Solutions Conference, the three are EA, Qantas, and South Pole will be holding a webinar on the guidelines for corporate plastic action. So it would be great to see you there as well. Thank you for joining us on this lightning talk and enjoy the rest of the conference.